it's editing me from like way in the future. I just wanted to pop in real quick because I was cleaning out my memory card on my camera and I found this footage and while I normally wouldn't necessarily put it out, I think it's really interesting to be able to look back on because this is obviously like the week that COVID was getting really big and I was getting laid off. So I thought I would put it together and put it in a video so if nothing else I would be able to look back on it and see what it was like and kind of like the timeline which is also why I put the dates into this. I'm sorry if this seems like a weird time to upload it now because obviously I was laid off like a month and a half almost two months ago at this point but I thought it would just be interesting to have. Like that's why I like YouTube because I can have all these memories just on the internet to look back on. So this vlog that you're about to watch is going to be from the week that I was laid off from work because of coronavirus. So you will get to see my thought process of everything going on. So I hope that kind of clears up why this doesn't match up with the time now. So that's it. But you can just keep watching. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> It's not like in Italy or like other places where they're doing like rent freezes and stuff like that. We're not doing that here. So my problem is if I accepted like the, like getting laid off essentially to be safe, I would still have to pay $360 a month for my student loans and 150 bucks a month for my car insurance and then hundred bucks a month for my phone and then $200 a month for like my rent to live up at work. Like $1,000 a month doesn't really get me anywhere. Like it's insane to think that I'd be making less than $1,000 a month on EI, but my car insurance, or not my car insurance, my student loans are $360. Like, do you see my struggle? So I'm going to work still today. I'm actually working overtime because I'm just trying to get as much money as I possibly can before we inevitably do shut down. I don't know, we're going by the 50, like, no, like more than 50 people in an area, but some places are saying 10, and some places are saying 6, and some places are saying 250, um, but we're going with 50, so all of the areas of the spa, essentially, we need to, like, lock off after there's 50 people in, so more people don't come in, so they're letting us pick up overtime hours to work those shifts to essentially like count people coming in and out of the pools and things like that. So normally I would work 12 to 8 30 but we are doing 12 to 10 today and then tomorrow I was 12 to 8 30 and I'm doing 12 to 10 tomorrow too. As of yesterday they closed all bars and nightclubs in BC. On my way to work. <laughs> I'm stressed out. There's only like 186 cases or something like that in BC, which like 
realistically isn't that many considering how like big and highly populated our province are most of them are in the lower mainland um there's only two of them in the interior which is where i live but i'm pretty sure like both of those <laughs> are also in the city i live or at least one of them is because one of them was a flight from vancouver and like it really puts into perspective how this thing spreads there's only two confirmed cases in the interior but one of them that person came from vancouver and they got it from vancouver and then they were on a flight so then like the two people around them were considered infected and then like the two rows on either side of them have to get tested and, like self-quarantine now so like you see how this spreads really easily so i'm nervous that someone who had it came to the resort and was like in the pool and then, like coughed and got it all over eight thousand people and then someone that they had it got a massage and then that massage got on the germs of the massage practitioner and then that practitioner had eight massages that day you see how see how this could be a problem we like are sanitizing like crazy a lot of people were wearing gloves for their treatments um we especially ordered a hand sanitizer from our supplier because everyone else was out so we have like really bougie hand sanitizer right now at all the desks i think that's like it for now i was supposed to put a video up the last like four days honestly i was supposed to put it up but i just haven't done the thumbnail i just want to give y'all a little update we'll see how the rest of this week ends up going for me because at this point i honestly do not think that we're gonna stay open for a full week but i'll let you know i need to go drop off my um chicken nuggets that are in there at my apartment and they go to work so see y'all after work The last clip didn't age too well because now I'm unemployed. <laughs> so literally the day after I filmed that they stopped all services at work for like obvious safety reasons because you can't be like massaging people in a pandemic and then the day after that was our last day. So yesterday was officially my last day of work. We're hoping to open April 13th but honestly like low expectations. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go to a housing meeting today to see what was going on with where I live because obviously I live in staff housing. Um, so I'm staying here for right now. We don't really know how this is going to go. We're just like playing it day by day, sort of deal. Um, but I have like no food up here. So I'm going to go into town, see how insane it is, get some food. Domino's is half off pizzas until the end of tonight so I think I'm gonna pick up pizza for me and my co-worker who's up here doesn't have a car and can't go get anything um so yeah but <laughs> I am now laid off should I use this as an opportunity to better myself yes will I maybe not I'll probably just sleep more but we'll see how much food there is because if they only have healthy food then maybe I'll only be able to eat healthy food but I'll let you know but let's go try to go to the store and hopefully it's not too crazy down there i'm going to the smaller town so that gives me hope that maybe it won't be as bad but we'll see okay so i got a positive note yes i'm parking in a no overnight park here currently and i parked here last night there's all these like low-key beautiful trails where i am now because i live in the middle of nowhere also look at my cute boys look at how cute they are hello um yeah there's all these like beautiful hiking trails out there so like might have to hit these up this week i don't know if we'll actually do it if we're being totally honest but they're so pretty that i feel like as long as it's not like negative 800 degrees this week this might be something that we take up because i live in this small ass building and i'm about to be real bored also can you tell what room mine is mine's the one with all the diet coke cans oops i left my light on the ones i showed you before are like not very long but there's ones down here oh hi look it's a deer Hello! Hello, my sweet friend! Hello! Oh, you have a big sad patch on you! Look at your cute butt, though! Can I go and not run you over? Um, but yeah, down here, <laughs> where that deer's chilling, these are a bunch of, like, actual hiking trails down here, so maybe I'll try and, like, hit these up, or I can just go through, like, the neighborhood, I guess. But everything's closed down here, like, the market's closed, the golf course is closed, everything's closed, so. But maybe we'll take up some trails. I'm gonna turn on a podcast and go get some groceries now. Good afternoon. 
I would say good morning, but honestly, it's like almost 1.30. Um, it's day, I literally don't know of being unemployed. I don't know how y'all do this every day. I am tremendously bored already. Pete my McDonald's cup in the back. I am eating an English muffin and drinking a Diet Coke, story of my life. I put up this, look how cute she is. This was supposed to be my giant tapestry, but it's too long for like this whole wall, so you can't really see the castle there. Then I put up my flag too. They announced today um, that the parks are closed until further notice. So I haven't like technically said anything because I've been waiting to hear. But essentially, obviously, my April trip is cancelled, which is unfortunate because I don't know when I'll be back. Um, between not going back to Disney this summer, which honestly is kind of a blessing in disguise now because this is all happening, um, and not having that trip. I still want to do an October trip, but I just need to convince someone to go with me because as of right now, I have no friends. So I'm going to film putting some makeup on today i should edit but i'm probably not going to um i need to work on some schoolwork. i have a big assignment due on the 29th and then i think i'm gonna go on a hike because it's really nice out today can't even see it just looks like it's cloudy um it's been really nice for the last couple days and it's supposed to snow again this week so i want to take advantage of some of the trails up here before it snows so i think i'm gonna throw my fanny pack on bring you guys with me and go on like hopefully it's at least an hour of something to do but yeah I'm just watching videos now before I film my own and hanging out because this is what I've done for the past like four days and I haven't filmed just because I'm they're, they're, I don't know what to film there's nothing to do um I also might try and go out later and get some more food because I'm running out of like basic food that's today's update it's day five of being unemployed and all I've done is play like six hours of Sims and upload one video. So we're doing good. But I'll talk to y'all once once my makeup is on my face and I look alive. Oh look, peep my other McDonald's cup and four Diet Coke cans from last night. This is how I'm doing. This this is a visual representation of how I'm doing right now, in case you were wondering. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, so I fully didn't leave my house, but I did film today. But it's the end of the day. And I what's on the floor? Oh, my headphones. Good, good, good. Um, but I'm gonna wash my face. So I'm bringing you here with me. Also, like, okay, I don't know if this is just a me thing. I bought this toothpaste <laughs> from the dollar store because, like, I left my toothbrush and toothpaste at my mom's house last time. Aren't you focusing on my toothpaste? Hello? Okay, so I bought this from the dollar store and, like, it tastes sweet. Is that weird? Like, normal I get sensitized because I got, like, weak ass teeth, but this tastes sweet. I don't like it, but I don't have any other toothpaste. So this is a sample size, but I'm really, 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 really enjoying this cleanser. So I'm gonna wash my face with this, and then I'm gonna go and do the rest of it in my bed, because that's where I keep my skincare. Also, I'm gonna brush my teeth. Let's go. Also, why is this shaped like this? This is the worst shape to be in your mouth ever. <laughs> well, I do not know what this angle is, but this is the only way we're getting any light, so. <laughs> so we are cleansed. I'm probably gonna do a mask tomorrow. I did one two days ago, but we'll see. Um, this is just like a random hydrating toner, I expect literally no one to own this because this is a random um salon brand that we carry at my work so no one has this ever normally i use this which is the normally I use this guy which is a sunday riley ceo glow oil i've actually been really liking this i use this in the morning too but because i have so much texture on my skin we're using something else tonight. This is just something that I'm trying to use up if we're being totally honest with you, so I have no feelings about this. This is the first Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hydration Serum. Hydrating Serum, yeah. It's like a hyaluronic acid serum, which is like the same as this. This is like a hyaluronic acid toner. I'm going to throw on an eye cream. This is a little baby sample that I've actually like almost used up. 
okay he's not gonna focus but look at how good she's doing she's almost empty this is the fresh black tea aged delight eye concentrate do i need it considering i'm only 25 no do i have 400 of these because fresh was a brand that was like only carried at sephora so they always gave it to us in gratis yes I got this in the mail like a long time ago, like around Christmas, and I haven't opened it fully yet. Like I opened it, but I haven't used the product. Look how cute this little box is from Fresh. It came with, this is the different one. This is the um, Lotus line, so this is like the preventative anti-aging more than the Black Tea's like the more intense anti-aging line from Fresh. Again, I just know a lot about Fresh because when I work in skincare, I sold a lot. So it comes with the Lotus Youth Preserve Eye Cream which looks pretty much the same. She's cute. This will be like what I break into next. I think I have little Kiehl's eye cream actually that I need to use, but that it also came with um, the Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream, which this is the new product out of them. So I need to look into the differences. Look how cute that is. So this is the new product. Well, new-ish. By the time that I'm showing this, it's not very new. And then this is just the Lotus Youth for moisturizer. So this is like your night cream. This is your day cream. Um, I never really used this line. mostly because I got gifted the black tea line. I do have this um, mask, like the exfoliating mask. I actually have two of them at home and I've never used it. Ooh. And that's just the regular moisturizer. And then it came with a little, um, like, card. If y'all ever want to hear me actually talk about skincare, just let me know because I love skincare and I miss skincare and I could talk about it for years. I'm gonna throw this on. This is nice because it's like a moisturizer but it's also exfoliating. This is from PTR, Peter Thomas Roth, but I actually really like, you can barely see it, but this is the 10% glycolic moisturizer, so it has exfoliating ingredients in the moisturizer, which is great because you don't need another step. Love that. It does tingle and like borderline burn if you have sensitive skin when you put it on. Personally, I enjoy that. I also will use, if I'm feeling super, super flaky, I if you like open breakouts and they are burning um i'll use this and then something really moisturizing like an oil if my skin is like feeling really flaky i just want to scrub everything off this is the ordinary um seven percent glycolic it's also like ten dollars i think for this huge ass bottle great deal and then if i do that i'll use this with either like the first a beauty ultra repair cream Really, really love this stuff. I literally have a huge bottle of it somewhere. But I bought this because <laughs> I love the electric cream so much. Um, I'll either use it with that or if you want to be a cheap bitch like me, I like um, the, again, from the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Press Rose Hip Seed Oil. Big fan of this. Swear by this. This wonders for my skin. So these together. I'm a fan of. Some people are like, Rosehip is a vitamin A derivative so we can continue exfoliating, like, don't use them together. But like, I like these together. So, leave me and my unsensitive skin alone. <laughs> if I'm having like a really acne-y day, we'll throw this on. Murad Acne Clearing Solution. This stuff is only 0.5% um, salicylic, but this stuff, I don't know what it was. When I was like, Bouncing back from Accutane, full breakout, terrible skin, this shit. Mmm. Beautiful. That's it. Welcome my face. I'm gonna turn off my light. I'm gonna do a little spritz spritz of some lovely lavender pillow spray. Because we're all about self.